Well, every month our makeover team gives someone an amazing transformation. Our reporter Kelly Hansen usually finds that person by posting, hey, do you want to make over on Facebook? Our and Facebook then, page is a good place to go. It's a good place. And from that, mm -hmm. she gets tons of responses. Yeah, then she's trying to figure out who's going to get yeah. it. Okay, one came from a Champlin woman. She wrote her back a few days later saying, actually, though, that her mom was more deserving, told Kelly. Mm -hmm. Kelly found out why, and she thought so, too. And that's when a big surprise was planned. A little switcheroo, if you will. <laughs> Take a look. Champlin mom Jackie Bystrom emailed me this picture of herself, and I thought, oh, the potential with her hair. Then a few days later, she wrote this. I realize that my mom is much more deserving of a makeover than me. I'd like to nominate her, Stormy Jerva. She recently battled breast cancer and is a survivor. One phone call later, and I learned another reason behind this nomination. They were together every day. He just wanted her by his side. Two years ago in December, Stormy's husband, Ed, was diagnosed with a brain tumor. 18 months later, he passed away. She lost the love of her life after 48 years of marriage and that was devastating. And then to turn around and be diagnosed with breast cancer herself, um, that was a really rocky road. The chemo, the um, radiation took a lot out of her. So Jackie and I decided to surprise Stormy by telling her mom we were giving them a mother-daughter day. You kind of want something changed too, right? Yeah. You know, I, I think maybe Jackie mentioned to you that I've, I've had breast cancer, so this last year, um, I went through chemo and radiation and I lost all my hair and now it's come back, but it's gray and it's curly in spots. Jackie, should we let her in on our secret? Yes. What? Let's tell her. <laughs> Stormy, this day is going to be all about you. What? Well, Jackie emailed me over the weekend and said, we really think, I really think my mom deserves this more than me. Yes. So <laughs> I'm going to tear up. <laughs> I said she deserves uh, a special day. And with that, we were off to shop at White House Black Market. But while Stormy finds her new look, Jackie and I catch up some more. If I could do something for my mom to help her feel special, that's that was really the goal. She's back behind us. Is she there you again? You gotta go away. <laughs> <laughs> This is Stormy on her first day of chemotherapy. How Jackie remembers her mom as a blonde. You know, it's different. It's curly, it's gray, and she um, she needs to freshen up her look mm -hmm. and feel really good and special again. And I thought, there's nobody more deserving than my mom. And so the makeover continues at New Reflection Salon. So you haven't really cut it since it started growing back? Once. Okay. One time I had it cut. So it's shaped up a little bit? Yeah. Okay. I think what I want to do is pull some of this this out here and actually make that a little bit uh, more tonal. That way, when the gray comes back in... Not as so noticeable. Yeah, or it's the, not going to be oh, like you know, a growth. white root yeah. with dark hair. Mm -hmm. And then the darker parts will just kind of make it a little bit more sort of softer. Okay. What we're actually going to do today is we're going to stain the hair rather than color it because we're going with a short haircut and this is going to need coloring more often. So having something that doesn't leave a heavy root is going to be really easy to work with and easy to maintain. It's a lot less harmful to the hair. We're going to do a tinted moisturizer to really keep the luminosity. Okay. Make you kind of a happy, healthy, hydrated skin. Yeah. Do you ever wear anything like with plum in it at all? I haven't. I think we should try that. Okay. Because with blue eyes, it's really pretty. And you've got very golden skin. Okay. Even though it's a little bit lighter. Mm -hmm. I think that'll play off really nicely. Right. But we'll do just some lighter tones to kind of brighten up the eye area. You have really nice texture. Wow. It's just wrinkly. No, it isn't. <laughs> no. Well, I'm pretty old, so. This and a few hours on. later, we welcome the new Stormy. So you ready? I'm ready. Okay, Stormy, come on out. Come on, come on, come on. Here she is. <laughs> you look amazing. I have to start with your hair. I'm loving, I love the color. It's keeping that youthful glow. Your makeup looks amazing. Yep. They did a wonderful job. Okay. <laughs> Now the outfit. Yeah. The outfit is slick. I feel like I need to go shopping. Okay, we went to White House Black Market and they have hooked you up. The jacket we love. And Leopard, let's take the jacket off. Okay, the look continues everyone. The cute jacket with the peplum detail. Jackie, what do you think about your mom's new look? She looks amazing. She looks, she looks like the mom that I 
I knew from way back when. She, it, she looks great. When you kind of look at yourself for quite a while, not in the best of shape, and then, you know, you get transformed, you, it, it really makes a difference. I love it. Thank you very much. Oh my gosh. She looks outstanding. Okay, and I just said to Kelly, are those white pants? I bet she never would have picked out those white pants on her own and looks darling. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. You know, and I think sometimes too, it's good for, uh, it's great whenever you see it during these makeovers, but whenever you go into the salon and you yeah. say that you do this and you just say, I'm gonna trust you. Oh yeah. Just I, work yeah. it out, do, do whatever. And Gretchen. then it looks so great in the end. Yeah, yeah it is that. nice. I think sometimes letting go a little bit of the control when you go into the salon and just saying, you know what, you're the expert, do what you think would be right. best. I, I Now, don't quote me on this if it goes poorly for you, but at <laughs> least for me, it's going very well. Well, you got nervous midway through that, <laughs> didn't you? I got stressed, okay. I was giving bad advice. We encourage you to do it, but if you don't, we respect that. But when you go shopping, try on one thing that you would never think to put on. Just and then to just see, see how it goes. Just to see how it feels. Because those, uh, those white pants look good. <laughs> I tell you. Cute, cute. Good luck. All right, good big looking. thanks, of course, to New Reflections Salon and Ridgedale Center for sponsoring Twin Cities Live. That makes me miss New Reflections. I want to go back. I know. There. I was just there this weekend. Coming up next, oh my gosh, we're going to tell you all about it. We're giving away almost 10